Okay guys, it's update time. Here's how crop is looking. Just hit all level six croplands, 3k prod, not too bad. Here's how our spawn is looking. The prod's like 900 to 700. Um, spawn village is just popping out those parties. So after reset, it's going to be 4,000 of each resource. And then the day after, it's going to be 400 CP. Uh, the res reset to only in two hours from now. So about 26 hours from now, then we'll head towards that 400 culture point reward. Uh, we obviously can't get it till one hour before the next day resets. So, um, yeah, anyway, I uh, lost my train of thought there. Um, yeah, I've extended the town hill to level two, ready for it because you need a level town uh, to town hall to do this. Basically, what you do is just start the party as soon as the reset for 400 CP uh, rolls over. And then because you've got a level two, you'll be able to do your second party in here before the next reset. And then you just do your third party in your cropper. So I thought it was easier to go for the town hall there because uh, it's already set up. I don't have to spend any extra resources and it gives a little bit more CP per day. Um, this will quickly overtake it though. So might not be bad to actually the next time it comes around, it will definitely be doing it out of here. But we should have three villages by then anyway. Uh, our CP is really good. Uh, when I put that party on earlier, like 10 hours ago, nine hours ago, um, we were actually ranked 87th on the server for coach points produced so far. So let's see how much we drop now. I can get an idea of how many others are partying. So 130, so we only dropped 50 ranks in that time. Two of them were from our own alliance, actually, because we were third alliance and ranked 87. So yeah, not too bad. We'll just keep that going up, and then once we do our triple party and our 400 CP, that's going to be like over 800 CP in like one 24-hour period. So it's going to skyrocket there, but I would expect a lot of people to be doing it. Uh, anyway, there's not too much to update you on. The NPC that's coming next will go towards getting Town Hall ready in here as well. Um, I'm probably going to start a party there tomorrow anyway, because uh, I really want to get this third village as soon as possible. So definitely going to work towards that. Our production's pretty good. We can get it pretty quickly. So I've got over 4,000 per hour in here now, so it goes pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> adventure, we did get some phalanx. We got 38 phalanx and we did get a light scale armor. I have not bought anything else in the, the auction, I don't think. We got our light scale armor, we got our Lance of the Hadron, we got small spurs and the small map. Uh, I had a look at buying a gladiator helmet today. I didn't put a bid on any. They're still around 20,000 silver, so we'll see what they are tomorrow uh, when it's off peak in the European night. So you can see I didn't have a bid on anything uh, since that Hadron Lance, but definitely want to get a gladiator helmet. 50 CP a day is quite a lot at this stage of the game, but I don't really want to pay 20,000 silver for it. Um, I think 15,000 silver or lower, I'll definitely go for, but if I actually transfer the gold into silver, I will probably still pay 20,000 for it. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go tomorrow in the off period. Anyway, that's the update for now. I will catch you tomorrow. Okay guys, we're just about to start our third party for the day and getting that sweet reward from the daily quest. There we go, 192 CP, claim, 400 culture points, collect. Bam. And 100 more CP for a new villa. Uh, let's actually check how long that will take us. Okay, so only a few hours away we can get it. Um, I'm currently working on the residence at the moment. 
So once that's done, gonna smash out some settlers and settle that new villa. And we'll wait for this to, ah, uh, I got a bucket in an adventure. I'm not sure if I showed you uh, yesterday. So we got the small horn and the eight and we got 22 pathfinders. I don't believe I um, gave an update yesterday. Nothing interesting uh, went down. So we'll see if this is updated now. Uh, a resource pro prod is not that great. So we're still 1,000th, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Coach points so far, 31st. Nice, really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, so we've got all level sevens. We have captured our first oasis as well. So there's that update that happened today. Um, yeah, basically that's all that happened. We had to train troops because of the uh, quest. So we made a lot more scouts in spawn and just some phalanx to go with it. Okay, so it's gold promotion. Uh, I bought some gold just um, because 20% more is always nice. So instead of getting, um, I usually just get 600 packs, but because it was 20% uh, I bought the 1600 gold pack and got 320 more gold I might buy one more before it ends just because it's basically like saving me buying a 600 pack if I do it because you will obviously get like 640 extra gold from doing it so pretty much saves me like 25 bucks overall so uh, that's pretty good I think but yeah, plan is to settle new village, get residence 10, get the settlers, settle the new village, then keep pumping out those crop lands like usual. Uh, I think the account's going pretty well. The production's obviously uh, not the best, but because we settled so far away, it's always a little bit slower to get up there, but uh, we always make a comeback. And getting that third village in the top 50 in the server uh, it's definitely going to be a big positive as well. So this is probably like one of the best I've been. Oh, wow. We jumped even higher. So we're now 14th in the server and first in the ally. But I expect a few more people to collect their 400 CP soon. And then we should drop a little bit further. But yeah, awesome. I think it's going really well for us. Uh, Hopefully we can just keep cruising along. I'm not putting too too many hours into the server, which is also very good. I've just got alarms set for when uh, the granary is maxing and stuff like that. Uh, setting master builders when I'm offline, and my awesome set of Pendle Dragon of a night time is a lovely help. Uh, I'm not losing any sleep, so it's been good so far. Just chilling and building anyway guys i'll see you in the morning because it is saturday so probably record we sh should hopefully have that new village and we'll go from there oh guys i almost forgot something pretty important so i bought a helmet of the gladiator for eighteen thousand silver pretty cheap and i did buy one artwork twelve thousand silver for the artwork so as soon as i saw the gold uh, promotion I decided I would actually buy the artwork so uh, that's pretty good like I got it for 12,000 and they're at 16 to 17 now so I got a pretty good deal uh, saved like a good 4,000 silver there so I'm probably not gonna buy another one tomorrow uh, it was just kind of a one-off thing I don't like to buy a whole heap of artwork so um, that's actually like the first artwork I've bought early in the server uh, in a long time, but um, it was very helpful. It gave me like a good 230 culture points. So yeah, that's like a big contributing factor of to why we are ranked 14th on the server for culture points so far. Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. Uh, I'll show you that here again. Yeah. So we've got the Glad Helm, Light Scale Armor, Hadrian Weapon, and the small map and we bought a standard and that was for the daily quest um, to get the 100 point reward and we got that in an adventure and we got a bucket in an adventure too 
and I did buy the other bucket because our hero has been on real low health but he's not dying it went down to 1% HP this morning off an adventure I thought it was going to die uh, so I had the bucket spare ready to revive it straight away so we didn't lose the res prod as we're going for heroes mansion and stuff but I uh, didn't end up dying and still hasn't ended up dying with like three more adventures done since uh, the one where we went down to 1% so that armor uh, health regeneration is really helping. Uh, these were the raids we did on the Oasis that we took. So we used cages to capture them, as you probably already saw, but just did a quick little few raids on there. Just could have raided more, but I didn't want uh, animals to spawn. Five rats uh, actually spawned there, so I was like, uh, I don't really want to risk uh, Taking the full 8,000 because I don't want to buy more cages because I'm pretty sure they're still ridiculously priced. Yeah, still ridiculous. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's time for an update. I'll start on the top 10 just to show you what that looks like. Uh, big outlier defensive points here and a big outlier here in the rating. It's almost triple, so... Uh, if that's legit rain, then uh, I feel a little dumb to them, but yeah, that's like a massive gap considering the gap between uh, 2 to 10 is not very much at all. So yeah, here's how our crop is looking. We've done our parties and stuff for today. We went for the 75 point today and got that additional adventure. We did get an artifact artwork, not artifact. Uh, so we got an artwork, we've used that, and that's really helped us. Uh, so that was a sweet adventure, but we've got two parties going on at the moment. Just finished level eight, going for the warehouse, granary up a little bit more, and then going for the level four grain mill. We settled our third village. We were the first one in our ally to settle our third village, so that was nice. Um, I'll show you that here. So we settled ours third, then Mighty Geese settled their third, then Loki, then L Rigorous Fusion. Uh, these two only have two villages each now. But yeah, we are going pretty good. Let's have a look at that general tab. So, general tab, uh, 812, it's uh, still no good. Hopefully we can get better at that, but culture points 183rd, and so far we are 16th for culture points, which is amazing. Uh, I think we're going really well on that. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to update you on. The plan for tomorrow is while I'm sleeping, get my sitter to upgrade these to level nine. When I wake up, I'll put more resources into this new village here, and we'll get that cranked up to like level four or five tiles. But that's the plan at the moment, and just keep on chucking our parties on. 